two years ago, we were on uh, Nakamixon in kayaks, and we pulled up alongside of an old couple uh, in a pontoon, and we said, hey, uh, what's it like owning a pontoon? Are you happy you own a pontoon? And uh, they said it was one of the best things they've ever done. They said that their kids grew up on it, their grandkids swim off of it, and it, it's been a real good thing for them. And then, all of a sudden, the government just started giving out free money, like, <laughs> like stimulus checks and stuff. And we had an opportunity to pick up a 20-year-old pontoon boat. It is uh, well-loved. It's in really good shape. Uh, one of the things that is cool about it is that it has an aluminum deck instead of a wood deck. Oftentimes with old boats you have to worry about, oh, am I going to have to replace the floor because the wood rotted out? But this will never happen. You hear people talk about owning a boat and they say things like, the two best days of a boat owner's life is the day he buys his boat and the day he sells his boat. And they say other things like, a boat is just a hole in the water that you dump money into. And I decided if I'm going to do this, I don't want either of those sayings that people say about owning a boat to be true. And I'll tell you what, the, the first one about the first day you buy the boat is one of the best days of your life. That was one of the worst days of our life. We broke down on a uh, road in New Jersey on the way home. The transmission tube like blew up and it left us sit along the side of the road for like four hours in New Jersey with two kids without a lot of snacks. Uh, that was that was a bad day. So we know for sure that the first one of those sayings isn't gonna be true. The second one about it being a hole in the water that you dump money into, uh, I decided I'm not going to let that happen because I'm going to figure out how to do stuff by myself so I don't have to pay the guys at the marina to do that. Uh, and so far, I've been able to do that. I am definitely not a mechanic, even a little bit, but using videos online, I've learned how to winterize the motor by myself, change the lower gear oil, fog the engine, change the spark plugs, do all those things to make sure it starts up real good in the, in the springtime. And I've developed a system to cover the boat in the winter time to keep the snow off of it so we don't have to pay $400 to get it wrapped in plastic like people do. So this is two by fours, PVC, and, and a boat cover that came with the boat. So I've been really happy with how little money we've had to actually put into the boat. I feel like each season we have the boat, every time we go back to the lake, we get better at it. And it's been one of the best impulse purchases we've ever made, I think. I wanna show you some video from this last time. It was our 18th wedding anniversary and it just could not have been more special. We had a campfire by the lake. The, the sunsets were just absolutely magnificent. I Words cannot describe. None of the pictures or the video of the sunset you might see in this video have any kind of filter on them. It was just glorious. So. We made it to one of our favorite places, this side of the state line, on shore with our craft and our fire pit right here. And we decided this time that we were gonna bring a rake along because I don't wanna start a forest fire. And we decided to rake the leaves away from our fire pit so we can cook dinner. And we had this idea, there's unlimited leaves here. So we are going to rake the biggest leaf pile we've ever raked and we're gonna have fun in the leaves by the lake. So this is our favorite spot. This is where Honeybee and I sit in the summertime while the boys are playing in the water, jumping off the pontoon. And we're up here on this hillside and there's this little cliff here. I wish you could see how big this pile of leaves is. I don't know how safe it is, but we're gonna try to come off of that hill onto the pile of leaves. I mean, come on, that's pretty awesome. Let's go. Up on the hillside, bear cub's about to jump. Hopefully he's okay. Make sure you jump out far from the hill because I don't want you to hit any rocks. <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? Are you injured? No. Where's your body? Here, I think your head even, popped off. I didn't off. even feel any rocks. Oh good, that's great. I Let's do it again. Book wheat, book wheat, book wheat, do it. Whoa, he disappeared. Ah. <laughs> He's swimming. Dude, you don't have your life jacket on. Kick your legs, kick your legs. 
he keeps he, he keeps sinking. Keep sinking. You, you should keep your mouth shut when you're in there. You're gonna end up with a bunch of sticks in your mouth. I got it. Wait, what? I think I found a tooth. A tooth? Whoa, that is either a tooth or a really cool rock. rock. A kind of kind of looks like a canine. <laughs> There's definitely little fossils, shell fossils. Hiding in those. Really cool oh, we love fossils. That's quartz. Metamorphic with quartz. Nice. We got to keep this tooth. That is awesome. I found something great. You did? What is it? Let me see it. Are we talking fossil? Let me see it. Bring it here. Whoa, what do we think that is? It's a shell. It is a wow. brachiopod. It is a fossil. Let's save this for the wet saw and we can cut that out. And look, there's a bunch of little ones. Hello. We're going to save this for the wet saw. Do you see those little guys next to it? Yeah, it's my it, dip all gone. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. We ate your dip. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, dude, you ready? Do you see him? Yes, he's right here. Go in there and get him. Grab him right behind his pinchers. Oh, we're having lobster tonight. He's pinching me. He's Ow. pinching you? Oh. It was gonna get a bucket. Oh, I got him in my pinchers. Oh, lobster. Oh, he's trying to pinch me. Oh, buddy. Nice catch. He's like, I bad. Oh. Dude. Dance, monkey dance, monkey dance, monkey dance. Whoa. <laughs> Make him dance. I'm a this is the dinner platter. No, I don't think we're gonna eat him. I, I would feel bad about lunch. cooking him, especially if we didn't end up eating him. Oh, there he's dancing. What you cooking, Buckwheat? Hot dogs. Dogs on the fire. Let the sweet smell of meat fill the woods. So the bears come looking for food. <laughs> bears and see cows. a bear run for the boat. I get wet. <laughs> what happens if the bear follows us into the boat? Sits down. Says, Let's go for a ride. I'm not trying to. <laughs>